Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another edition of Culture with Rino Z. This is your Philip Aizano speaking, and let's take care of business, as always. Before anything, put a like and subscribe to my channel. I want to give a nice shout out to um, Anthony from Interworld World. Thank you for coming out yesterday on my live. We had lots of fun. Even though you're in Terista, I'm even Tina, but still, we managed to bring some good content about Calcio. And uh, I hope to see you again. I hope after today's loss with your lovely Inter, my fellow Paisan, <laughs> I didn't give you any bad luck, which I did say you might win, but unfortunately, like I said, the palle tonda. I am very sorry, my friend. But it is what it is, which I, I'm pretty sure you agree with me after you watch this video. Let's talk about this game, uh, Inter and Sassuolo at the San Siro. I don't know, man. Like, the first half, Inter, they played pretty good. Like, they, they controlled the game. Sumer did a wonderful job on saving the game. Well, doing all these saves whatsoever. But at the moment that Dumfries um, scored at the 46th minute, I was like, it's done. And they're they're going to be in charge. They're going to score more goals, and that's it. But Sassuolo, and I keep repeating, it can be a dangerous team. Because at the second half, everything went turn around. At the 60th minute, uh, one of the players, which I don't remember his name, I'm sorry. I know it starts with S, scored a goal, which... Uh, a lead to one one. I was like, okay, but thanks to the assist of Berardi. But then minutes go by. Uh, but you can see this team uh, when it comes to the big teams. There, no stop. People are saying that Juventus gifted to them, but their center back. Uh, you know, yes, they lost with Frosinone whatsoever. But when it comes to uh, big teams, these guys play a culture. Like it or not, like I'm not saying they're going to win the Scudetto whatsoever, but they bring entertainment and it's impressive to see because after all, Berardi, he scored a beautiful goal with the, far away from the penalty kick line and he suddenly had that space. I know Sumer did that properly. He, he bent himself down. I don't know what he was thinking, but it leads to 2 1. They managed to control the game. They enter after the second goal. They just uh, went down. Uh, they tried, but niente. Because even at the first half, there were so many shots to enter, but they had a lot of corners as well. But it is what it is. So it's the first loss after. Uh, how you call it? After five games. It's not a bad loss. At the end of the day, they got two goals. You went this four. We're going to see who is next with the swallow, either with Napoli and Milan. Because last time Milan, they lost 5-2 on May. So we'll see right now. So, finally this week, match six finish with Napoli winning 4-2. Milan winning 3-1 with Cagliari, even though they didn't have the full players. But somehow they managed. They were kind of struggling, but then at the second half, they all came back. It's always a Kyrie. Now we're going to see with Lazio how can Milan can manage. <coughs> Excuse me. Then who else? Uh, Lazio. I don't remember the other teams. But these are the three teams that I remember, which I watched Inter. So that's the only way I'm doing a little analysis. So we'll see on the next games on Saturday, Sunday. So which two others? Genoa. Frozen on it. I'll definitely watch that. And then Roma. I can't even remember. Anyways, there's some more little bit of action tomorrow. Tomorrow, I'll probably be live with Mr. Anthony Trimboli. Uh, we're going to do just a Juventus chat. And that's it, guys. Put a like and subscribe. Please like and share. And we'll talk to you, my fellow Paisans, soon. Ciao, ciao. E arrivederci.